Alright, so the theme for this deck is basically just to use Radiant Divine Bird, Veni. Is it Veni or Vini? I think it's Veni or Vene. 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 Uh, whatever. Divine Bird. Uh, this card right here, it's a level 8 uh, ritual monster. I think its spell card actually allows you to special summon it during your end phase if it was destroyed that turn. During your end phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one ritual monster in your graveyard that was sent there this turn. Special summon it. Yeah, I was able to use that like once to special summon Divine Bird after you got destroyed. The bird itself, uh, its effects are decent, but not something you'd really want to build a competitive deck around. Uh, its first effect, uh, if you tribute a monster during your turn, you can add a monster card from your graveyard to your hand, which is pretty good. So I built the rest of the deck around basically that. Uh, basically cards I can tribute themselves during my main phase so I can gain its effect to basically just add a monster from my graveyard to my hand which is really good so I ran red eyes since they're also uh, the world of red eyes ritual engine so I'd have two ritual things going on right here plus blackstone of legend is a nice tribute card tribute it and special summon a red eyes monster straight from your deck and I also ran zero gardena and jira ghetto just because they both have decent tribute effects. I couldn't really decide which one I like better, so I just put both of them in. Uh, usually when I build decks, I like to not put just single copies of cards. If I'm going to do that, I usually just put multiple copies of them. But this one I couldn't really decide. Zero Gardena, you can tribute it during both players' turns. Uh, and during that turn, monsters you control can't be destroyed by battle. It's basically like a Wabaku effect. You take no battle damage either. Uh, and since it can be used during both players' turns, if you use it during your opponent's turn, I'm pretty sure Divine Bird gets its effect during your opponent's turn as well. But I never actually tried it out. Uh, yeah, and you can just tribute them during your battle phase to increase the attack of a monster. Plus, you can special summon himself. Not half bad. Everything else is just basic uh, Red Eyes cards. So, no real need to explain that stuff. Oh, yeah, and its second effect. Uh, you can change the level of a monster on the field to the level of a monster in your hand. So if you have a Divine Bird in your hand and you have like one of your uh, Manjus out, you can use Divine Bird to change it to level 8. That way you can go into a rank 8 XYZ monster. Or if you have like a, a Red Eyes out and you have a Red Eyes in your hand, you can use Divine Bird to change himself into a level 7 to go into one of the really good rank 7 synchros. So. Uh, that effect is super situational. It can be useful, but it's not really <laughs> an effect you'd really want to run. This deck is really based around its first effect of just tributing a monster to go plus one. 